Moving on through the spy weapons, we've got the <laughs> So this is the singular AR in this set, and I've recently covered the pepper sprayer and the Trinity SMGs, which are very, very good and extremely comparable to this. But the huh <laughs> is one of the most interesting weapons in the set because I think it might have been, at least at my first impression, was one of the more viable weapons in the set, and it's now going lower and lower on my totem pole, but that's just me personally. So first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to Tic Tac's video because he covered covered a lot more about this weapon and the loadouts that associate with it. I like to focus on the best perks for a weapon, so I think he did a good job summarizing what's good, what's not, you know, the fact that, you know, first shot Rio is extremely good with this, and in my gameplay, I only had one crit damage perk on this, and you can kind of get the idea that it's definitely good, seeing as it has an 8 meg size, and she buffs the first 6 shots with a 100% crit chance, so that could be an extremely good way to use this weapon, however, it's, it's not exactly, I don't know, I guess that's a great way to play, you can hit for a few hundred thousand pretty consistently, but I think if you're going to be using a normal loadout, these are the perks that I'd recommend. And I know that crit damage is really boring on a weapon that fires this slowly. In fact, one of the things that I found draw as a drawback to this was the fact that it shot very, very slow. So I think that there's a decent chance in the future that I might try out a fire rate perk on this. However, as I'm looking over this, you can see that it's only in a really, really bad spot where you can probably do fire rate, crit rating, crit damage. I might personally try that in the future, but you might also want to go for the double headshot damage, as you can see it's got a pretty big multiplier here. Now, I'm going to warn against that because headshot can be a very good multiplier. However, hitting consistent headshots is one of the most difficult things to do in Save the World when using specific weapons, so I'm going to have to warn against that. Mag size is kind of pointless on this. Eight shots is a, is a decent amount, especially if you're using Rio. It's completely useless. I think reload speed might be the best all-around way to go, but if you don't care either way, seeing as it has a 2.3 base reload speed, so an extra damage perk could be an extra way to, you know, make sure this thing does what it needs to do because I found with this weapon and kind of why I hate running crit damage on a weapon like this is the fact that when it doesn't crit it was leaving a lot of zombies on like one HP when you crit you one shot everything and it's awesome or you two shot them or whatever but when you're not critting it, it kind of sucks and this is a pretty decent damage from coming from this weapon at a, in an okay range this should be a lot longer but you know, you want to be one or two shotting almost everything you hit. So I, that's why I think a fire rate perk could pick up for that extra slag. In fact, I even recommended that choice on my Wrath video long ago, where I run crit rate, crit damage, crit damage, and fire rate, where a lot of people recommend to do damage down there. Uh, I prefer to have fire rate, and I've been using it for a very long time in a lot of Storm King fights, and I still stand by the fact that even though you might hit harder with that 30% damage, getting an extra shot off is almost always more valuable than a little bit of extra damage in the meantime. Now, in this case, we're not talking about a little bit of extra damage, we're talking about a crit damage perk, so 135% extra damage is really only about 51% or so when you have a 38% chance to hit that shot. It's, it's kind of a nice way to smoothen out the damage, and it's definitely a consideration. So, as spec'd, I think this is the best all-around build if you're going to be using First Shot Rio, because it'll be pretty okay all the time. You're going to be critting, you know, a third of the time, but decent enough, often enough to where, you know, you're going to have a lot of chance to crit, because most enemies are going to take multiple bullets anyway, so this will be a well-rounded build. Plus, you're going to have the two, you know, maximum potential crit damage perks, which is two. So if you're running Rio sometimes, your crit rating will be a dead perk while you're using her, but it'll at least give you some variability. If you're using this specifically for First Shot Rio, then, yeah, a headshot damage perk here is the only way to get some extra damage out of it seeing as she gives you a 100% crit chance crit rating is a dead perk so that's a good way to go but that's only specifically if you're using first shot rio now as i said fire rate might be the best way to go here but that's entirely personal preference i can't really recommend mag size you can if you want but a 75% mag size with a base eight is only going to add like six bullets so is 14 shots really that more important than eight uh, that's up to you. That's entirely up to you, and it's definitely going to be up to the individual person if they want to lower their damage for an extra mag size. I would recommend going reload over damage because, you know, you have low mag and a kind of slower reload than I would prefer, and, uh, you know, you kind of have to pick one or the other. So, I feel like the huh is a pretty decent, you know, straightforward weapon to perk up. Element is always the same. If you want to have three of these, run them with every element. Physical would be better if you're in Plankerton or lower, but if you're in canny, late canny, or playing in twine, you're definitely going to want to go energy because physical will be fun and games until you hit an elemental zombie. As for the sixth perk, 
that's one of those things where you know the spy weapons are causing a lot of a uh, lot of discussion there is no damage to slowed and snared or afflicted on this weapon so slowed and snared could be nice affliction could get a little bit of extra damage maybe someday if they buff it you know if you're watching this in the future and affliction is kick ass then go for it but as i'm recording this we have three new six perks and they are as follows standing in one place regenerates shield which isn't super necessary because Typically, if you're using a, a longer range weapon like this, you're probably standing on your base or a height advantage position, not really engaging as much, so you're probably not going to be taking too much damage. And so the other two I'd recommend is the 11% damage stacking up to a maximum of 55% extra damage if you stand still for 10 seconds, or the 85% damage to Mist Monsters. Mist Monsters is kind of up in the air. Y you, you might not might not prefer that that's entirely up to the individual uh if it's all you've got don't let that stop you from you know clearing this weapon i have a video guide at least as of now this works to where you can you know recycle a weapon to the collection book and then pull it out spend 20 v bucks to replace it so you can just do that spec up the one that you want to use and then someday if you get the six perk that you want many people will probably just want the flat damage i was fortunate enough to receive that myself then you can just put that in the book get all your re-perk back uh, perk up back and then be able to spec into this and i think that this is of all the weapons in the spy weapon set probably the one weapon that benefits most from that standing still gives you 55 percent damage because as i said if you're standing up there on the base not moving which is very boring i hated doing this my left hand constantly felt like i should be at least ad ad you know moving around uh, if you're standing up there in the base not moving, you can get a pretty decent damage bonus, which might more or less make up for its somewhat lower range because that range might seem like a lot, but if you think of a sniper, which has a really, really long effective range, uh, 25,000 makes a 4,096 look like chump change, and uh, I feel like that's what a ranged weapon should have. I know that this is a sniper, this is an extreme example, but meet me somewhere in the middle, Epic. Give this long-range DMR-style weapon at least like a six or 7,000, you know, something like that, so it's decent at a long range. I meant that they are comparatively better earlier with the pepper sprayer because it also has has a 4096 range which means the damage drop off if i understand this correctly is you know linearly identical meaning the rate at which this bullet will do less and less damage is the same slope that the pepper sprayer has so i don't know if i caught this on camera but the pepper sprayer was like comparable while i was standing on the base doing effectively the same job as the huh. so why would i just shoot zombies slowly with this one when i could use an smg which is much more useful and much easier to use in far more situations i don't want to end this video on a bad note with a rant like that i really do like the huh. it was like the most interesting weapon in the set it was like the first one that i really wanted to try out and i'm so fortunate that i was able to grab this schematic because i was very prepared to record this video with purple schematics and that i got this at the end of today's stream that i wasn't even going to end up streaming so I'm, I'm glad i got this you should totally try it out if you haven't already form your own opinion use these weapons you can use my video as a bit of a benchmark use some of my gameplay to get a feel for the weapon but ultimately you have to put it in your own hands and see if you like it maybe get one from a friend or you know ask somebody in our discord i'll link that in the description below as i do with every single video hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you guys think in the comments below like the video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it subscribe if you're brand new i i know i know you might be on like video three or four and you haven't really decided yet but if you've been pinging my videos have, have i not earned the red button you can always unsubscribe but it would it would make me make my heart smile a little bit i hope you guys enjoyed enjoy the rest of your day and remember to drink water it's been like day four with the copyright claim and they haven't resolved it yet and I'm too afraid to upload this with the normal song.